Oh! Oh, they are not happy that we are in their business. Here it is. Nailed it! We got a box of bees. There are just thousands and thousands of them. Now the bees are right up in here. Now all we have to do is locate the queen. If we locate the queen, all the other bees are gonna follow. Man, this is bananas. So they're Monday's entertainment for the cocktail hour in Georgetown. So we're with Del Voss with the Swarm Squad, DC Beekeepers. We're on 31st Street in Georgetown. You're setting up. What do we need here to get set up? Well, I have some tools that I brought with me. One's this pruning pole okay. that we're going to use to uh, cut the branch that the, the swarm is on. And it's about 20 feet up in the air. So uh, this is an impressive swarm uh, that, we're, that we're seeing here. It is. It's beautiful. Most normal people wouldn't call 20,000 bees beautiful. <laughs> so what quantity? Beekeepers do. Beekeepers yeah. do? OK. Yeah. So what are we going to do here, Dell? I know that we need to be careful. Yeah. Um, well, it's going to be a little chaotic. And I've got jokes like that all day, by the it's way. It's going to so. be a little chaotic. I didn't even flinch. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a little chaotic um, because they're not going to be happy. We're going to, um, you know, they found this temporary spot. They like it. OK. And I'm going to cut the branch, and that whole group of bees is going to fall right here. If I can get the queen bee, um, that's just one out of that group of 20,000, if I can get her inside my box. If you can get her to behave? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yes, if I can get her to behave. What I'm going to do is trim the branch, and they're going to fall, hopefully, into this box. And, and if uh, they don't, we just run away? Um, <laughs> you don't have to run too far, but. I notice a lot of people on this street are stopping to see what all the buzz is about. Everybody that's gathering to watch this happen just needs to be where. Here come the bees. They're not very pleased. We've got a full-fledged swarm here, people. Here it is. Nailed it! All right, now a lot of the bees, Dell, flew away before the actual yeah. hive center fell in the box. Yeah. So are we confident that the queen is in here? No. Nope. Um, I'll be able to tell in a little while. Matter of fact, it looks like most of them flew away. Most of them flew away, oh no. <laughs> and you are not wearing gloves. Are you mentally stable? <laughs> We're going to search the nearby trees to see if yeah, the, they, they took off. the bees fled. It seemed like they all came down. It's just a normal day in Georgetown. So we knocked, we knocked down the nest, but the queen got away. So look, we're at the intersection of 31st and N here in Georgia. Look at this, this, this massive swarm of bees. I mean, they're all the way up in that church. They're all the way over here. So Dell, did we, did we make things worse? What did we do? No, no, I, um, you know, bees have their own ideas and they just decided, I think they were getting ready to move, right? Oh. When I cut them down and we just made them airborne. Look at that, look right up, look at that. Holy cow. It's beautiful, isn't it? I mean, it's beautiful. If you didn't, if you didn't realize it, it could be menacing if you thought they were going to come and get you, but they're. Well, that's what everyone who's walking yeah, by is thinking yeah. the bees are going to get us. Yeah, but they're just looking for a place to live. But isn't it wonderful? We have so many honeybees in Georgetown, and they're healthy, and there are 30,000 of them up there, and they're getting ready to be saved. First of all, I love when a story spawns another story. We need a spinoff just yeah. of the neighbor and just how he goes about his day. John, I have so many questions. John Wilson is the hero that we need on Mondays. When you're <laughs> out there with this beautifully fancy margarita <laughs> at 3.30 in the afternoon just watching the show. He said they're healthy. <laughs> they're healthy. They're thriving. It's, it's a beautiful thing. I need to ask about Dell, though. Yeah. No sleeves? Just out here amidst all of the bees. Is he... Does he have bee immunity? Like, what's going on? He says he gets stung a lot. Uh, he says for him, though, it's just like an allergy shot, basically. It just helps him stay immune for the next time he gets stung. He's like, eh, it just stings a little bit. The bees didn't really bother us at all, despite the whole beekeeping get up. Yeah. Uh, our producer, Annalise Roy, was mere steps away with no beekeeping get up on. Uh, there just wasn't enough to go around, and, and, and she was fine as well. So listen, we've got, if you see swarms of bees in your, in your neighborhood, right? We've got uh, the DC Beekeeper Alliance hotline number and email. It's on my Twitter page right now and it's on WSA9.com. Now listen, if you have a hornet's nest or a wasp nest in your neighborhood, that's that's not really their game. They really don't want to come out and play with that. But Dell said though, look, if it's in a place that's near kids, if there are a lot of stupid adults that might tend to be around it, that they will come and take care of that. Stupid adults 
No shortage of those we know in D.C. Absolutely not. One other thing that Dell has on top of his uh, uh, townhome in uh, Capitol Hill Southeast, he's got 30 hives of honeybees on, on the roof of his house. That's about 50,000 bees in a hive. Do the quick math. Dude's got a million and a half bees on top of his home. Interesting. In Capitol so Hill. So if he ever encounters some bees that didn't want to move, he could bring his bees and run them off the block. That's right. And also everyone on Capitol Hill should just know to be where. Listen, we got this story because it was awesome. We want your awesome stories. Find me, a longo, WSA9.com, or hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. I'll even check TikTok today, maybe.